Hello there! I'm going to show you some basic slap techniques and then I'll combine some of them to show you examples of what can be done. There's a single slap, the double slap, the triple slap and the quad slaps. Now the single slap goes like this. You simply grab the string, pull it back, release. I'm practice being precise on the string. Hit a string one at a time. Make sure your fingers don't make contact with the other strings as you as you slap because it's going to make for a messy sound and it's not good especially when you're going to be recording it's going to come up and you're going to hear all the buzz and the suzz so really try and attack exactly one string at a time and you'll find that as you build up, it'll make things a lot easier. Now the double slap is the same. You just come down a little harder on the fingerboard so as to make contact with it. So coming down, you hit the fingerboard and it's still the same movement. As you come down, you grab the string, pull back and release. get two slaps. 50-50. Uh, Where the clicks are evenly spaced. Again, practice slowly, get good, and then speed up. And of course, yes, you have the 50-50, or the 70-30. Okay, so we have the triple slap, which builds up on the single and double slap. One, two, three. Again, focus on one string. Don't hit two strings at once. If you can practice that way, it'll make your playing a lot cleaner and much better for recordings. So that's not the 50-50, that's probably the 33.3. <laughs> three. You can do it mechanically like that. Feel the flow. Also, you can be more laid back.
practice on each string because they all have a different feel and a different angle of attack. You'll be pulling this way, that way, that way, and that way because of the radius. Another one is the drag triplet where you drag your hand backwards as you slap and you hit the fingerboard in the string with this part of your hand around here. Now I'll go on to the quad slaps and there's three different types that I've found. There's the flat quad. One, two, three, four. It's an awkward movement. It's weird timing, but as you practice, you'll get the flow. an unusual one but it's fun to mix it or drag quads which have the note at the end so as you come off the last note you flip your hand over straight away so as to be able to hit the fingerboard with the back of the little finger then slap with the thumb and as you slap with the thumb, you come, your hand comes up so as to give it enough space to come down on the string also. So it'll be one, two, three, four. Your hand comes down, thumb hits, and as the thumb hits, you lift your hand. Or before you, your thumb hits, in fact, you pivot on your wrist and come down one two three note one two three note slap 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 note Steel strings make it a little tougher, but it's still doable. Now the chop quads a little weird but they can be pretty useful depending on the situation and again the drag quads end with the note whereas the chop quads start with the note so as you pull on the string you come down and hit with your little finger again as you come with the as you hit with the thumb you lift your hand and down so it's the hard part is that your hand comes up but your little finger has to come down so can't 
put it everywhere, it gets pretty messy, but you get the idea. Now what you can do now is combine a drag quad with a triplet, like this. Take it further and add a flat quad to a drag quad like this. Once you've got that more or less under control, um, you can mix them up and have fun. Remember to practice slow, always with a metronome, and if your fingers start bleeding, take a break. Right, so I hope that helped. Um, practice each one of these slaps about a million times and you should be, um, you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. Um, don't bother subscribing, but please uh, do leave a thumbs up. That's good for my ego. Thanks. Bye.